game and do you think that this could kind of debut would be possible? Um, I found out we even started in the way we were weak. And then the we had a natural problems. I just, when I heard that, I just thought of it as an open opportunity. Did you think that it would go as well as it did when you when we got the news? Did you think that that this kind of thing would be possible? Uh, yeah, I knew it was possible with my offensive lineman. You know, I got a leader right here next to me. He helped me out a lot, so I knew it was very possible. Uh, uh, Dave? Yeah, JT, I want to know how you would describe the roller coaster of third quarter for Paris Campbell. I mean, your thoughts on the, the one he missed and the one he made up? I um, think that's part of the game. I mean, you know, it's like every pass or every deep ball, you know, has never been ever since we won the two years. I mean, that's part of it. Uh, there's going to be time where I'm going to miss him. You know what I'm saying? So we really got to ride back. I think he did a great job. Uh, ride back. Just play the next play. Uh, Bill Landis. JT, how did you feel about the deep ball? Urban said that you felt you left guys left some out there. How did you think you, you threw it on the, the few chances you had today? Um, that was, I mean, my main thing was making sure I, you know, give him a chance to touch it. Uh, with Linda, Benji, uh, that we got past finish call. Uh, I thought uh, Linda Marcus, where the day is cutting loose, uh, put too much gas on it. Uh, Paris, I thought that was a good ball. Uh, that's the only two, oh, that was a way to come to mind. And JK, um, what was this week, week like for you, knowing what's going on back home and then getting the start tonight and, and playing how you played? Was it kind of a strange week leading up to this? Uh, it wasn't that strange. I kind of thought of it as motivation for me. You know, I'm probably the only positive thing going on in my town right now, so I just thought of it as bringing my, my city up. You know, so. Second row right, Dan. JK, with Mike being sidelined tonight, you know, what was it like between you and him during the game? Was he over there encouraging you? Was there anything specific that he said to you during the game to help encourage you and help you perform tonight? Yeah, he, he, he's an encouraging guy. You know? He's like my older brother, you know, so during the course of the game, he was just telling me to keep running the ball, keep running the ball. You know, at first it was pretty, it was pretty well, you know, so he just kept running it and he kept encouraging me. Uh, over here to the left, Teddy. JT, in what ways does this offense feel different from last year's? Um, I'll probably say uh, I thought we operated uh, in that second half faster. And see the defensive uh, guys not being able to say. So I think the operation being faster. Uh, and uh, I don't know, just ordered experienced guys, uh, all the receivers, uh, and then so in the conversation, so they don't have to sidelines for those adjustments. Because uh, guys know what they're looking for. So in the conversation, it's easier to come up uh, person from off and uh, you know what they're talking about. So I think that was good. Uh, especially if you got to the halftime and was able to talk about what was happening out there and see what the audience was doing. Not to slight the guys from last year, but you feel like you have more weapons? Uh, yeah, no, the guys that were here last year. So, like I said, no experience. I mean, they will see things more, understand, you know, things like that. And, and just making adjustments on this one. Over here to the right, Tom. Check it out. Okay, well, I'm going to go over to your town. Did it and evacuate the part of it? Does that affect your family or not? Uh, it didn't affect my family. It affected, it affected a lot of my friends. You know, so. Doug, go ahead. JT has a quarterback. Um, you have a play like that where Paris drops that ball in the end zone. I know you're just trying to get the ball to whoever's open, but what does it mean? We know how important Paris is going to be to this offense. What does it mean for him to come back and then make a play after he had that drop? Yeah, so um, I'm not one of those guys uh, that I guess would put it against the person who makes some drop guys So I guess part of the game is that we the fact of the matter is just getting him in the room as well, making sure that he's comfortable with what we're doing. Uh, that's for everybody. If it wasn't for us, coming from any of these guys. So I'm not giving up on him. And we'll go with one final question over here to the right, Tim. JK, you haven't played a full game <laughs> since your junior year in high school. 
did you kind of feel this coming tonight? I mean, just what, what's your take on just your debut on, on the major uh, national stage tonight? I felt like I was, I felt like I was going to do that. I practice this best defense in college football every day. And I got a great offensive line, you know, really on there. And we got all the other guys around me. So it's just, I kind of knew, I kind of felt like I was going to do that. And your mom, she lives in what, Weimar? Where does where she live? Weimar. Weimar, yeah. Thanks, man. Great. All right, folks, thanks a lot. We'll try to get a